Welcome to Night Prayer at St. John Shaughnessy for Wednesday, May 11th. Before we begin, I invite you to find a comfortable place to let your feet touch the ground, to take a few deep breaths, to let go of the stresses and worries of the day as we pray together. The God of peace grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late to take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. We have wounded your love. O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been, and shall be, is known to you. In the very secret of our hearts, you know all that rises to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us. That we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me, believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness. I do not judge anyone who hears my words and does not keep them, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not receive my word has a judge. On that last day, the word that I have spoken will serve as judge. For I have not spoken on my own, but the Father who sent me has himself given me a commandment about what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. What I speak, therefore, I speak just as the Father has told me. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. Again, we have one of these John type readings that seem to go round and round and round. If you see me, you see the one who sends me. And if you see the one who sent me, you see me. I come to bring light to the world so that the world will not be in darkness. It's very easy, at least it's easy for me, to get very lost in that language, to sort of skip over it. Or sometimes I grab onto a word and then sit with that word. And today, and for the past few weeks, as I've been reading this passage, the word that sticks out to me, that grabs me and keeps me from getting too confused, is the word sees. To see me is to see the one who sent me. And if you see the one who sent me, you see me. Seeing. What do we see? It feels like a very um, natural 
thing. And we've done a lot of seeing over the past little while, haven't we? There are lots of things to see. Over the past few years, I've talked on occasion about the gorilla garden outside my house, how in the Greenway where I live, a whole bunch of gardens have sprung up over the past few years. And they did so without any permits, uh, without talking to the city. And as a result, recently, now there are big signs saying uh, that the land, in fact, is, um, it is important for conservation for the Musqueam people, that in fact, uh, that artifacts have been found. And no one is allowed in the gardens, not even to remove their things. And, um, and there's been lots of conversation around that, around here. But one of the really interesting things that I am seeing now, after watching the gardens go in and be built up and all these beautiful things, is watching the gardens with all the bits and pieces of the gardens, the fences and the rain barrels and the decorations and the chairs and the trellises, all the things people have lovingly put into their gardens. But now watching all of that go back into its wild state, even after a few weeks, how everything is growing and what is growing. It's a, it's a really lovely thing to see there's something very holistic, I don't know, there's something very special about it, something very holy about it. As I see this process of the earth reclaiming wild space, that's something I see. There are lots of things that we can see. There are lots of places that are calling us to see. And when we see those places, we see Jesus. And if we see Jesus, we see God. Sometimes those places are the wild of the world that call us to a life of care. Sometimes those places are the war-torn places of the world, which call us to be peacemakers. Sometimes it's those moments of seeing something holy that remind us that the world is holy. So what are you seeing right now? Where are you seeing things? because we have choices. We choose what we see. What choices of things to see are you making? Because to see, to see the world, to see the holy is to see Jesus. And to see Jesus is to see God. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be.
The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of this world and in our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day with new joys and new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. Keep watch, dear God, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted and shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. In this time, I invite you to raise up those cares and concerns and all those for whom you have been asked to pray. Gracious God, support us all the day long of this earthly life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed, the fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, O oh God, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever, amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen.